Michael Caine still uses his real name, Morris Micklewhite, when he's not on the job. The former King of Cool, who became an icon thanks to films like Alfie, The Italian Job and Get Carter, went through a lean time in the 1980s. In 1999, he bounced back, winning an Oscar for The Cider House Rules. He received a knighthood the year after, and since then he's played a succession of supporting old duffers in a string of big-ticket crowd-pleasers. And Michael is having a ball. Oh, it's great. It's like I get all the wisdom parts now. When you get grey hair and you get a little older, you get, you get all the parts where you're the wise old man. The only thing is I don't have any wisdom, but I try to act it. Over the course of his career, the much-imitated Cockney actor has crammed hundreds of useless facts into a series of trivia books under variations of the title. Not a lot of people know that. His most famous catchphrase. His great love of chill-out music also fueled the recent release of his own compilation mix CD, called Caned. He's now rumoured to have signed a deal with EMI to keep pumping out the chill-out compilations. He got to chill out himself on screen as the pot-smoking political cartoonist in the dystopian sci-fi film Children of Men in 2003. I've never played a hippie, I, I play a, a junkie, I'm a hippie junkie, I play a relic, relic of the 60s, I'm well, probably a relic of the 60s, that's the only thing I have in common. Playing second banana to hero heartthrob Clive Owen didn't faze Sir Michael, whose motivations have changed over the years. Now I look for things that are different, you know, you just want to be different every time, so when this came along, it's not, it's not a very big part of the movie, Turned up Clive. He's got the big part, you heard the shout. Yeah. <laughs> Not that he's totally resigned himself to playing supporting roles. In 2007, at the age of 74, he took top billing in the remake of the 1972 thriller Sleuth. Michael starred in the original, in the role now taken over by Jude Law.